Hey guys, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here. And today we're actually talking about California. Now, before I get into the actual topic, understand that California is one of the largest economies on the planet, and it is the largest economy in all 50 states. And so they have a lot of sway in the United States and also in the globe. California has been enacting a lot of different laws lately, uh, or rather attempting to get them spun up, such as their own GDPR for, its, for advanced data privacy for Californians. And so when they actually start proposing these things or talking about other kinds of laws, again, we listen. Now, Governor, uh, Governor Newsom, Gavin Newsom, basically proposed something he is calling the digital dividend, and that's what we are talking about today. The digital dividend would be a profit-sharing uh, program, I guess, that would basically align you with whatever data that a major organization or company like Google, Facebook, Twitter, Apple, etc., etc., has on you, and when they profit from your data, you profit as well. So, for example, Facebook data mines virtually everything on us that they can possibly get to sell to third parties, advertisers, etc. As they are selling that and making a profit, if you live in the state of California, as a Californian, you would also profit as well. Now, I have not seen anybody else talk about this in terms of, uh, you know, profit sharing anywhere. Uh, this is, I think, a pretty new concept on this. And so that's the topic for today. Uh, you know, is this a good thing? Is this a viable thing overall? Should an organization like Facebook that is making billions of dollars off of you be giving you, you know, a cut of the money that they are making on you specifically? And so I have read studies where the data that Facebook collects on you is about I think $12 worth of sales or something like that, or $12 a month. And so what does that look like? Are you making $1.20 a month uh, or, you know, overall from Facebook because you are, uh, you know, that's 10%. I don't know what that looks like and I don't have specifics, but Governor Newsom said this in his State of California, in other words, California State of the Union speech, and I quote, California's consumers should also be able to share in the wealth that is created from their data. And so I've asked my team to develop a proposal for a new data dividend for Californians because we recognize that data has value and it belongs to you. So this is, in some ways, if you're looking at this, kind of anti-capitalist in the sense that, well, if we are entering into some kind of contractual agreement with a Facebook or a Google, our data is theirs to do with what they what they wish because we signed the end user license agreement. The flip side of this is, well, nobody knows what is in these end user license agreements and studies have shown that people skim over them or they just don't, don't simply understand them, but they really wanna use this product that some others in the psychology field are considering addictive. And so is this one of those ways that gives uh, people their power back or is it just enough to make sure that we have complete access to our own personal data and know what they're doing with it and who they're selling it to and who are we to get a profit from a business that uh you know that we don't have investment in beyond using that platform for our own gain so in other words is the trade-off there in exchange of goods and services meaning our goods our data in exchange for their services, our ability to, let's say, network on social media. I'd be curious to hear what you think. I think it's an interesting concept that he's come up with, but I can already see people saying, well, this is socialism and anti-capitalism, and I can see other people saying, this is great, it brings power back to the people. So you tell me what you think. I think it's an interesting concept. Uh, I'm not necessarily sold on it, but but I want to see where this goes. And as always, California seems to be coming up with the with the most, I don't want to say radical new laws in the United States, but they are definitely on the forefront of whatever data privacy is currently in the USA. And that is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.